Hey there, welcome. Let's kick off with a GPT that I built. I built a GPT and connected it to my database of over 5,000 real-time startup jobs. Here's what it does in three simple steps. Users upload a portfolio and the GPT matches them with the sectors that are aligned with their experience and values. Once the sector is chosen, the GPT fetches jobs from my database and prints them for the user. And once a job is chosen, the GPT visits the jobs application page and summarizes the jobs details. But this video is not not about my GPT, it's about the everything interface. Something special is happening with OpenAI's GPT store. Thousands of GPTs have been launched on the store, yet the same chat interface is used across all of them. In other words, one generative user interface took the place of thousands of graphical user interfaces. So GPTs are eating user interfaces and their appetites appear to be infinite. Let's think about how we do things now. User interfaces are built ahead of time, which means the screens and functionality within an app are finite. Users are limited to whatever the product team had the foresight to imagine and the resources to build. However, generative UIs are not limited in this way. They can adapt to any scenario because they are generated in real time. But you might be thinking, what about the scenarios that require more than just a text response? And to that I say, generative user interfaces will soon handle this too. GPTs can already generate front-end code, so we are just one step away from executing that code in the chat interface itself. That is to say, graphical user interfaces will be generated in real time and nested inside of the GPT. Let's think back to my GPT. Its purpose was to match users with startup jobs, but that's not actually what users want. Finding a job is only an intermediate goal. The user's ultimate goal is getting the job. Now, of course, an ideal app would fulfill this ultimate goal, but such an app is too broad for one GPT. And this brings us to the final reason why GPTs really are the everything interface. GPTs can be chained together to achieve virtually any goal. Think of how we might extend my GPT by chaining other GPTs onto the end of it. Maybe we add on a resume GPT, and then a portfolio GPT to fill in any experience gaps. The point is that the output of my GPT will be used as the input into the next GPT. Do you see how this experience could be infinitely extended? To the user, it feels like the same app, but the AI is chaining GPTs together on the back end. This continuity of experience across many different apps has not been possible until now. This is the true value proposition of the GPT store, to give one AI access to many different apps. Right now, many apps are actually going the opposite direction and integrating GPTs inside of their existing user interfaces. But I see this as a short-term trend that will fade as GPT stores grow in popularity. This is because it's more valuable for one AI to have access to many different apps than it is for each app to have its own AI. The AI with access to millions of GPTs will chain these GPTs together to accomplish virtually anything. This AI has the full context of what the user wants to do and reuses the output of each GPT to compose sequences of any complexity. On the other hand, the AI that exists within a single app cannot produce continuous experiences between apps. This AI is limited to the functionality of any given app.
if all of this is true, then GPTs are the next platform. User interfaces will not be planned and designed as they are today. They will instead be generated by AI in real time. This means human builders will not focus as much on the visuals as they will on the behavior of the GPT. Creating a product experience within a GPT is the next battleground, and differentiating the GPT from the millions of others is the new art. It's unclear how everything plays out from here, although one thing is for sure. Users, who are now equipped with the Everything interface, will win no matter what.